Hello, everybody, and welcome to day 10 of the 10 Days of Winter's Day. Uh, Merry Christmas. Um, I'm just going to hop in here really quick because this is going to be a very, very short episode. Um, I recorded a, a, a bit of footage today um, and audio, but my whole plan was that I was going to go back through all of uh, Shingji Island and do any of the side quests that I missed which I did do that uh, I started at level 13 before I started doing the quest and I'm now level 15 if you want to see my attributes now um, they're right here I've got a messed up skill bar because of some of the quests um, that'll be fixed but the audio kind of got jumbled up somehow because it was kind of confusing because I kept recording and I kept starting the recording and stopping it and it was it messed it up in audacity for some reason and it was really hard to sync up the audio with the video and my original plan was to have some like music running in the background um, and speeding up the footage but completely forgot to even record any footage of me doing the quests, so that can't happen. So I want to apologize for that, and I mean I wasn't going to show you the entire quest because there was quite a few quests that I had to do, and it would have been like probably an hour or two long uh, episode, which I don't want to render, it's going to take ages. Plus, I didn't want a long episode since it is gonna it is Christmas Day, and uh, I want you guys to spend time with your families and enjoy yourselves. Or if you're not with your families or you don't celebrate Christmas, just spend your time playing Guild Wars. <laughs> um, so that's about it. Um, I want to show you um, before I get to the announcement, the big announcement. Uh, while I was doing the quest, um, I got this purple longbow. I haven't identified it yet. Let's do that. Nothing special. But there was a boss, and these things are kind of cool. They're not always very good, but uh, you get unique. Like, there's... I told you there's the gold. Well, there's purple. Okay, hold on. There's white items blue items, purple items, gold items, and then there's green items. Uh, they go from common to uh, uncommon to rare to very rare, and then to unique. Which, uni unique items you either get from the end of a campaign, or you get from bosses, and they're very rare from bosses, and I happened to get one. It's not very good in my opinion, I can't use it because I don't have, I'm not my second profession isn't a monk, but I'm going to see how much I could sell it for and possibly get some money out of it. Probably not. Uh, and besides that, we didn't really get anything special. Um, so as to that, uh, um, the announcement, as you know, uh, I've told you, Winter's Day I believe is going on until January 5th. I made this t the 10 days of winter's day so that it could end on Christmas day. I'm changing that. I'm going to try and keep it one video a day till the end of winter's day. And there's an item. Uh, it's a hat. Um, I used the quote finger sort of stuff because it's not really a hat. It's a scarf. But if I could get my hands on that, I need to figure out how to get it. Um, there might be a quest involved. I'll look into it since uh, we are at Kainang Center now, and I think I can get the quest there. Um, if not, we'll go to some other city. But I want to try and do that by the end of Winter's Day or on the last day of Winter's Day. Um, so we're going to try and keep that one day, one, one video a day. Uh, until then and then after that I want to continue this series I'm really enjoying Guild Wars right now uh, we might not get through this entire campaign 
but we might do some other stuff. Um, I think I've talked about I've talked about titles before, but with Eye of the North, you get in a uh, Hall of Monuments where you can put certain titles or rare pets or rare mini pets, uh, special armor, uh, special weapons and stuff into the Hall of Monuments, and you get points. Uh, there's a calculator that you can use that was put out by NCSoft that calculates how many points you have. The max amount of points is 50. I have 10, and those points goes towards items. I've told you this. Uh, the points go towards items that you can get in Guild Wars 2. Um, I want to try to get at least a few more points before Guild Wars 2, if possible. I'm not trying to get to 50. That would take ages, and it's kind of pointless. But I want to try to get... Uh, let's make the goal 20 by the time Guild Wars 2 comes out, which is undefined at the moment, so, um, there's that, I want to try and do that, but a lot of that requires farming and money, so I probably will just be showing you guys the Hall of Monuments if I do get the titles or the items or whatever to, uh, to be able to get the points. And then I also, uh, well, in preparation for Guild Wars 2, NCSoft has been putting out little, like, I guess you could call them side campaigns. And they've done one for Guild Wars Prophecies, which I kind of did. And it all kind of, like, adds to the lore of the original Guild Wars, which will explain into Guild Wars 2. It'll kind of give you lore building up to it. But, uh, in Factions, they just added, uh, a couple months ago, they added Winds of Change, which is the side campaign for Factions, and they're going to be adding the second part of it sometime in the near future, so I want to try to do that if we can, uh, but yeah, um, but once school starts back up, I'm not going to be able to do one video a day. Probably one video or two videos a week at max. They'll probably be on weekends, most likely. Um, I think that's all the information that I need to tell you guys. Um, but yeah, um, why did I just do that? Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I know it was a short episode, nothing happened, but uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, peace.